What up, party people? Um, we are doing a brand spanking new series called How to Be Alone. Um, as we've been going through all of this, it's just been like something that I've been thinking about a long time. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of an expert at being alone. Um, that sounds sad, but the whole point of the series is, is that uh, being alone doesn't have to be sad. So, uh, it's a four-part series, um, and part one, don't believe the lie. Don't believe the lie. The lie is that you're alone. Um, so when I said I'm an expert, more, I'm an expert at being by myself, which is different than being alone. Right now, a lot of you guys might be by yourselves, um, but none of you are alone. And so part one, the best way to be by yourself is to know that you're not alone. Um, and if you're feeling lonely or if you're feeling alone, um, these are just some encouraging words to remind you that it's a lie. Um, we are all interconnected. And if you need proof of that, I mean, this whole situation we're in right now started on the other side of the world a few months ago. And it's made its way here and is affecting all of our lives, like everyone's life. So if you need proof that we are not alone, that we are all interconnected, look around you. This is all happening because we are so interconnected. You are not alone. And if I'm feeling lonely or alone, this might sound kind of cheesy, but I picture myself as a tree planted, right? And when you see individual trees, they look like they're operating by themselves. But trees put down roots, right? And the roots become interconnected. Um, Sorry if you hear my cat or construction, uh, but the roots are interconnected. And so scientists are learning more and more that like forests act more as a unit than as an individual bunch of trees. Like if trees on one side of the forest are lacking in anything, trees on the other side of the forest will pick up on it and will send the nutrients or whatever those other trees are lacking down through the root systems. And so from above the ground, you see a bunch of individual trees that look like they're operating alone. But below the surface, everything is interconnected. And so we are all interconnected. And so may we also be sensitive to those around us who are hurting or who have needs that feel like they aren't being met. Um, if you are feeling alone, if you are feeling lonely, I just, if you feel like there is no one there for you, that no one cares about you, I just want you to remember that that is a lie. If you are watching this video right now, that means that I care about you deeply. And I would want to know if you needed something or if you were hurting. My kitty wants to know if you need something or if you are hurting. So part one of being by yourself, of being alone, is don't believe the lie that you are alone. We are all interconnected we are all supporting each other, and we are all caring for each other. If you need more reminders of that, uh, turn off the news, which typically has bad news and can leave you feeling more isolated. Um, look for the good stories. Mr. Rogers always said that when you're in the midst of a tragedy, look for the helpers. So part one, don't believe the lie. You are not alone. Find some good news. Find about how people are reaching out and supporting each other through this difficult time. Be a person who is reaching out and supporting someone who needs it during this difficult time. But part one of being alone is don't believe the lie. It's okay to be by yourself. 
but you are not alone. That's it. Part two coming at you next week. So stay tuned. Not that you have anything else to do. Bye-bye.